Many of the most astonishing feats of ancient engineering are often avoided by historians, with many historical research materials absent their existence, due to their unexplainable origins. The reason for this should be obvious, for when one gazes upon such relics, instantly struck with wonder. A curiosity as to how something of such incredible size or skill could have been created by the individuals these sites are often claimed as the work of. This is one of the main theses of the channel, for not only are these sites largely ignored and thus overlooked regardless of being historically important structures, clear yet suppressed evidence that a civilization far more capable than any currently recorded within permitted timelines once flourished on Earth. Relics with a very different origin and indeed history. We believe that such structures were instead rediscovered by the many academically claimed builders, and this is often argued as being supported by empirical archaeological evidence. However, the archaeology merely proves inhabitation, not construction. With a record of construction never found within any of these academically claimed cultures' surviving records, merely having re-inhabited such structures for strategic motivations, and in doing so, left their own archaeological footprint, subsequently concealing an unknown aspect of human history, one which came to an abrupt end and one such site largely unknown by the greater world, is known as the Herodium. What makes this structure so incredible is not the small arrangement of stone structures within the center of the build, but the earthwork itself, the entire site's footprint and indeed, the volume of earth utilized in the making of this ancient earthwork was of gigantic proportions. A seemingly pyramid-sized volume of earth used in the building of what can only be described as a respectably sized hill made by the hands of ancient man. Once one inspects this site from the air, its huge size becomes apparent, and the incredible feat this once was, an undertaking, if in fact constructed with primitive tools, would have been a task of unimaginable hardship. Thousands of tons of earth were at some point quarried and then transported to this spot, subsequently creating an incredible well-sheltered inhabitation with an intimidating incline on all sides. Many similar earthworks can be found throughout the United Kingdom, with the biggest pyramid in Europe known as Silbury Hill mysteriously made completely of chalk. Yet this little mentioned site dwarfs Silbury Hill by some measure. The question is, how old is Herodium? Who made it? How did they accomplish such a feat? It is, undoubtedly, highly compelling.